going to give them all the glory and the praise. You have your Bible, go with me to Matthew, the seventh chapter. Hallelujah. Matthew, the seventh chapter, let's just let's start with the 15th verse. I'm just going to read. Matthew chapter 7, verse number 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep clothing. But inwardly they are raving wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorn or figs of thistles? Even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree cannot bring forth with fruit. Bring forth evil fruit. But a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth forth not good fruit, every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast in the fire. Wherefore by their fruit ye shall know them. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have not we prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat upon the house, and it fell not what was founded upon a rock. And everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the wind blew and beat up on that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. And it came to pass, when Jesus had ended these saying, the people were astonished at his doctrine. For he taught them as one having authority, and not as the scribes. Amen. Word of God, for the people of God be blessed in the presence of God. Just do what God say, and everything will be all right. Just, just, just simply do what God says, and everything will be all right. And I've discovered so simply that, the, that any time I hear that small voice, and I try to ignore it, amen, uh, things seem to go contrary. Anytime I try to overlook what God is saying to do, I find myself in a predicament that I really didn't have to be in. And it's so simple as coming up 75 and God say, go 285, and I say, I'm going 20. <laughs> time I get to 20, all of the traffic back up all the way back to Cleveland Avenue. All because I did not do what God said do. And God speaks to all of us in his own way. But we have to decide that we want to accept what God is saying to us and do what God is calling us to do. The biblical text emphasizes two things. Y'all had a prophecy word about two weeks ago. You had a warning uh, uh, last week, but you're going to get some teaching this week. Amen. Amen. Because, because this text here deals with hearing and doing. It deals with hearing and doing. It deals with knowing what's right, but not only knowing what's right, but also doing what's right. Amen? 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 And, and, and what that does is it, it, it protects our name because the Bible says that a good name 
men. It is rather to be chosen than many riches. Uh, and, and what that does is it, it, it keeps our integrity intact because all of us are subject to slip at any time. But it's God who maintains our, our integrity as well as our character. Oh, come on, somebody. Come on, come on, come on. It, it, your, your, your integrity is it, 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 what tells people what you're all about. Uh, and, and your character, uh, it defines uh, who you really are. I wish I had some real folks in there. Uh, because every now and then, uh, Satan will cause us to get out of character uh, and act like somebody that we're not. Because we are children uh, of the Most High God. And, and wherever we go, whatever we do, we, we ought to act like God. We ought to walk like God. We ought to talk like God. We ought to be the example of God. Here on this earth that somebody can see our good works and, and glorify our Father which are in the heaven. Well, well, what's the problem? What's the problem? He said, beware. Beware of false prophets, which comes to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are raving wolves. They, they got another agenda. They got another motive. Uh, they're driven by something else. Maybe, maybe pride, amen. Uh, it could be greed, but, but beware of those who do not preach the gospel. Line by line, precept by precept. Beware of those that will twist the gospel and use it to manipulate people just to get what they want. Uh, and the Bible said that in the last days, uh, there will be many coming in my name. So you got to be aware and be careful of what you allow in your spirit. You got to be careful and aware. Do you allow to speak in your life as well as speak over you? Because everybody don't mean you no good. And I'm not talking about those in the world. I'm talking about those in the church. How y'all doing? Well, well, he tells us how to deal with them. You shall, a child of God, you shall know them by the fruit that they bear. And you have to ask yourself, what fruit am I bringing forth? Am I demonstrating love? Am I demonstrating peace? Or am I the one that's always the problem? Am I gentle? Am I kind? Am I long suffering with others like God was long suffering with me? What fruit are you bringing to the table for the glory of God? You can't gather grapes or thorn or figs or thistles. That's what he asks us. Hey, even so, every good tree brings forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree. Bring forth evil fruit. A good tree. A good one. It just can't. Bring forth evil fruit. Neither do a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast in the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits, you shall know them. And the Bible teaches us not to judge one another. But he gives me the right to be a fruit inspector. Come on, somebody. I'm a licensed fruit 
goodness takes. Hallelujah. We deal with a wise man. And then we deal with a foolish man. Hallelujah. Now let everyone say it unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But he that do the will of my Father, which is in heaven. How do I determine what God will live for my life? How do I know what God wants when God's when I told him he know what's best for me? The way you know what God will is, is you'll feel God's presence. You'll hear a small voice. You'll get confirmation and you'll know you're on the right track. But the problem is, we don't ask God what let your will be done instead of my will. The problem is, we ask God to join in on our will, give us the house, the car, and everything else that we are not ready for. And I know you're not ready. God bless you with a job and you won't even die. You can't be ready for what God has for you, man. But if you just do what he say, everything will be all right. Because there are many going to come in that day. Lord, we prophesy in thy name. In thy name, now, cast out devils. In thy name, done many marvelous works. And I, I, I have to watch over every one of y'all. We had a Facebook preacher one time. How y'all doing? He rested in heaven now. But he started calling the members of Sweet Home. And some of them got a little annoyed, others fell for it. But I said, God don't take care of that. He said, in this house where I pastor, and never even spoke to me, but hoped the people right around me and knew who I was. So that tell me he had a whole different agenda. And I watch folks. Let me tell you, you can't hear out everybody, please. You pick and choose. If this church is not for you, new hope right down the street. If you got the friend where you're comfortable at, where you're getting the word at, and where God is moving in your life. I'm often saying, if folks stop getting blessed in where I'm at, I'm gone. Hallelujah. Because we come with blessings. We're anointed to bless. We're not to speak over you. We're not to lay hands on you. Somebody ought to know what I'm talking about. It's not the preacher, but it's the power of Almighty God. I've got five folks in here say, I have experienced the power of God. I watched him heal. I watched him open doors. I watched him fade away. I couldn't do it, but I know who can. I got a God that can do all things but fail. To God. Be sincere in what you're doing for the kingdom. If you're going to be a good deacon, be serious with God about what you're doing. And I always start out with the deacon and the preachers so they can't get to heaven and say, I didn't tell them. Because there's two in the book. That's the past. All these are just like y'all. They can only do what I allow them to do. They are just like any other member. But there's two offices in the church. That's the pastor and the deacon. And they're not going to get to heaven and I stand there and say, I did not tell them what does say God. Hallelujah. Y'all with me? Praise the Lord. I don't want you to sing in the choir just to be looking good and cute. I want you to get ugly with it. Mess up your hat. Get some dust on your clothes. Just get down into it and give God some praise with everything that you got. Because when you get to heaven, I don't want to hear God say after all the traveling and running up and down the road, and then for God to say, I never knew you. Oh. Hallelujah. 
the mission city. I started wrestling with God. I got on the usher board because I knew I couldn't leave the church. I heard them for myself. So I got on the usher board. I knew God had called me to preach, but I, I, I was trying to hide from it. And I started growing on the usher board. Just being around people and listening to people in the church. And as I started growing, the second thing took place. Hallelujah. I was converted. I mean, I had a whole change of mind, a whole way of looking at that thing, because after I was condemned, I was converted. And let me tell you something, none of us are perfect, some of us are a little ahead of others in the faith, but if you've been condemned, God is working on your conversion. Ooh, somebody ought to get happy if God is working on your conversion. Hallelujah. The rain. This is it. The rain descended. The floods came. The wind blew and beat upon that house. And it fell not because it was found of all the rock. That's the wise man. He didn't build his house of a rubbish. He didn't build his house of a garbage. But he built his house of a home. The solid rock. And uh, the solid rock. That is the sure foundation. Because somebody said, on Christ, the solid rock I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. A wise man will build upon the foundation that's already laid. Because I heard. The Bible say no man can lay a foundation than the one that's already laid. And I'm so glad I got a God that'll go before me and make easy my way. I'm so glad I got a God that'll go before me and fight my battle. Or somebody catching hell right now. But God told me to tell you if you would do what he say, everything will be all right. Whatever you do, let Jesus lead you. Now somebody said, and I can testify that he is a mighty good leader. He'll lead you all the way from earth to glory. Tell somebody, look where God has led me to. I'm getting ready to do what he say. I'm going to do what he say. Everything will be all right. I'm getting ready to walk on my new job. I'm getting ready to come out of my situation. I need somebody to say today, like a wise man, from this point on, I'm building everything on the Lord. I'm building my family on the Lord. I'm building my bank account on the Lord. Everything I do, I'm building around, I'm selling around Jesus Christ. And everything will be all right. And the Lord all right. And I heard of him say, and everyone, they hear these things of oh, mine and do with them, but they shall be like unto a foolish man who built his house upon the sand. Oh, good God, look at the fool who didn't trust God. Look at the fool who didn't deny God. Look at the fool who didn't even pray. Tell your neighbor, the fool has said in his heart that he know God. Tell somebody, all I do is show you God. All I say is show you God. I need somebody to walk like Jesus or stand on their feet and give God a prayer. The Bible says that the foolish man built his house 